from Central Ohio's News Leader. Presented in high definition, this is 10TV News HD. Well, the Senate is one step closer tonight to passing health care reform. What's in, what's out, and what's still up in the air as lawmakers inch forward. One item in the bill, the so-called bow tax. Doctors and patients talk about a new tax on elective surgery and other cosmetic procedures. Why working women will feel the brunt of it. In tonight's Female Focus, we focus on a proposed tax that will fall mostly on the shoulders of middle-class women. It's for cosmetic treatments, and though it's rarely discussed in Congress, it is causing some real concern among doctors and some patients. It is nicknamed the Bow Tax. Dr. Brian Dorner is plumping up Laura Saletti's lips. It's not covered by insurance. She pays for it herself. But next year, she may have to pay an additional 5% in tax. A provision tucked into the Senate health care bill would tax non-essential cosmetic surgery and treatments. That's the wrong thing to do. Um, I think that if people want to have cosmetic surgery, I think that it shouldn't be taxed. The provision is designed to add $6 billion to the U.S. Treasury over 10 years to help pay for revamping health care. The American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery says 11.5 million people had procedures in 2005, 86% of them women. This is essentially a tax on working women. Dr. Jason Lichten, president of the Columbus Society of Plastic Surgeons, says most doctors' groups oppose taxing medical care. In a bad economy, some people use cosmetic treatments as a career investment. A lot of people are turning to the non-invasive procedures, things like Botox, things like Restylane and other fillers, or even plastic surgery in general, to keep themselves competitive in the workforce. When are you thinking that you may want to talk about having some surgery done? He's also troubled by who would decide whether a treatment is cosmetic and taxed or necessary and not taxed. Heather Collins lost 180 pounds after gastric bypass surgery. She has loose skin that causes back problems. She wants it removed. Who makes a decision? Is it going to be a doctor? Is it going to be a panel? Um, is it somebody who's never even really seen me and knows what my conditions are? You know, if they're trying to make uh, health care cheaper, that certainly isn't going to make it any cheaper. If the law passes, Laura says she'll have treatments less often. Heather says she won't have them at all. Now, if that health care bill passes, the tax would take effect in January. For more details on this bill and typical fees that you might face, check 10TV.com under Female Focus.